we also talked about 2000 Beyond mm. uh, that has the funky drummer sample. Break it and down. You can never go wrong with that. The I funky, mean, I, yeah, yeah, funky, yeah. Funky, <laughs> the funky, the funky drummer. I remember we had a conversation. Hey, you, I don't know if you remember the <laughs> conversation. We might have had. This, we might have had this about, <laughs> about fifty years <laughs> that's, ago. That's a song. We were. I mean, I was in the studio and, was, and we we were, we were just messing around with the funky drummer. Do you think they had any idea? Did this? You think dude, Dave Brown had any you, idea? Man, they in the studio, whatever. This dude is up there. Him and James Chip. And he had James <laughs> on and his hand living. This dude is doing the <laughs> pop pop. He just so so he put his angle oh, in man, man. He put it, man. The they, they they have any idea. What they if you don't get just a drummer. Listen, that joint is so funky, Madonna used him to justify my love. She sure did too. It's funky drummer. You know? Oh, uh public enemy, funky mm. drummer. Mm. You know? It, it just goes on. What else? I, I heard this dude, Apollo Brown, this this young producer, he, he kinda dope too. Um he used a funky drummer sample for a remix of um Oh gosh, what is the name of that group? At any rate, uh, 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 Dirty District, and that's with um, the Dirty District guy where the streets won't let me chill. At any mm -hmm. rate, he did a remix of "Streets Won't Let Me streets Chill." Streets won't let me chill. Exactly, but using a fun using a funky drummer sample. Okay, you know, you know, I was big in Detroit on um, on Dirty District last year, big time. That was that was my album. At right. any rate, um, I'm digressing here, but yeah, funky drummer sample mm -hmm. is used on that. Also, uh, we talked about this female I'm seeing called Keys. Keys, what about her, man? It's I was very impressed. Okay. Um, what was the track? Um, um, was um, that? Um, yeah, um, um, yeah. Man, yeah. it's like I was just sitting there listening to listening to this, uh, listening to the uh, manifesto. Mm -hmm. It was manifesto, and yeah. all of a sudden, you know, the beat very, very broken down, very, very simple track sure. comes out, and yeah, 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 this yeah. female MC comes on, very almost monotone. Yeah. You know, just but just almost reminiscent of uh, almost like Lauren Hillish a little yeah, bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Reminiscent of uh, Lauren Hillish on. Um, on a vocab type type of deal, yeah. you know, just just yeah. a very laid back, but so well, she, was, she was, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the only way I can tell you. She, yeah, okay. just, she, just, she is laying back and just like boom, boom, but she's just making it sound so easy. Hey, you, you know, know I love that. I just thought about this just now. We didn't even talk about this, you know, and I don't want to digress too much. I'm gonna just give it a little bit of shine here. Mm -hmm. Are we witnessing like a renaissance for female MCs now? All of a sudden. You so. got we got Nicki Minaj. We talking about this girl. We just talked about Sarat weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I mean, some dope, some real dope MCs. What was the, the other female from uh, Toronto? We were just talking about the other Eternia. Eternia. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's is there a renaissance going on with these female MCs right now? And I hope I, so. You know, I'm I really hope so. I'm, ex on. I'm excited for it. Actually, yeah. if, if that's what's going on, I am excited for it. Bring yes, it. Yes. Yes. Women, um, put your ankle in it. Put your ankle in it. Put I'm your ankle in it. <laughs> <laughs> Cook me up some buttery muffins, Doc. Yo, man, would y'all please rent uh, a black, black dynamite, dynamite out there, y'all? See, so y'all know what the heck we talking about. Dynamite, this dynamite, <laughs> dynamite, <laughs> you know, dynamite. Uh, told you not to disturb me when I'm doing my coming. I told you not to call me when I'm doing my coming. <laughs> <country. laughs> and anyway, some yeah, those guys. Some yeah, yeah, yes, yes, They yes. did a reunion part two with Illa J. Oh, Illa J. Jay Dillon's little brother. Yes. yes. Uh, and a very good producer in his own right. In fact, his solo album was off the hook. Yes. As a matter of fact, if I'm going to be completely real, I like his solo album better than the Sun Village album. Okay. About being there. It's that good. <laughs> real talk. Yeah, it's just it him. It is. <laughs> it's dope. And, but, El, but I think that's a, that's, that, that's a great addition to the group, having Illa J officially in the group. I don't know if he's officially, I think it's kind of some village featuring Illa J. But I think the way it's going down now, because there are some issues that they're having with Elzai, and the fact that Elzai has new management, mm -hmm. and it kind of pissed off the rest of the members of some level you guys can look it up on the internet i've been reading about this stuff um, wow. once these guys settle down and what their group is going to be going for they do have a good classic album in them and i would love to see elzai illa j mm -hmm. you know and t3 you know uh, in that group and it yeah these cats seem to be changing around a little bit too Mark. yeah, they, yeah they, they basically like the temptations of rap <laughs> we talked about you know what i'm saying yeah, I, you know the original members ain't there no more right. you know uh, uh by 10 passed away jay dylan yeah. passed away you know, uh, David Ruffin, you know, Eddie Kendricks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but anyway, <laughs> you, you don't see this type of type of deal. I mean, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to rack my mind around this and, and say, think, is there anybody in hip-hop, any group in hip-hop that changed so that much, has right? changed? Yeah, and members it, like that, yeah, right? You know, addition member, additional members and yeah, so on and so forth. They are, they, are li they are literally the, you know, the temptations of, of hip-hop. J. Cole. No. Yeah. <laughs> At any rate. They would do that. No. Nah. But, um, 
Yeah, so at any rate, you know, in the last two joints here, where do we go from here featuring Little Brother? Mm -hmm. You know, it always makes sense, makes sense for them to collaborate with a group like that because they're very similar. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, we'll show you featuring this uh, the singer uh, Ab. I think that production-wise, that joint is off the hook. That's my joint on there. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, overall, I thought it was a pretty solid album, but I think... Then once they get their group issue settled, man, that's when that classic, that that next classic, it's some village album is gonna come out. I think it's a very good effort. I'm not saying it's a bad album. I think it's a very good album. Mm -hmm. You know, lyrically they did step the game up lyrically. You okay. know, uh, production wise, like for me it's a little uneven, but they do have some ba straight bangers on there. Okay. I mean, where where you stand with this? And you know, the, and the funny thing is, it's like usually we're probably on the opposite. Side of the spectrum on, okay. on on an on an album. Their last album, we'd probably say that the the, the very same op very same opposite. Yeah. <laughs> we'd probably be saying the opposite things because I'm more of a lyric person. You're more of a beat person. Right. And at this this time they came out and they came out strong lyrically and maybe they came a little bit weaker, you know, beat wise mm -hmm. than you, than you would uh, like them to right. have. I mean, I thought this was probably one of the better Slum Village albums that I've I, I've ever heard. I thought it was very strong. Mm -hmm. I gave them at least a three point five. Yeah, I would say I'll give it a solid three, three, three and a half. I, I'll give it a three and a half stars. I, I would definitely go three and a half stars on that. Um, like I said, but to me, that's a group worthy of getting a clap. Oh, definitely, class that. definitely. And they got it in them with oh, all the so, And I'm a big Slim Village fan. I'm the kind of guy that was. I mean, it's funny. I listened to Fantastic Vol Volume Two. Then Trinity came out after that. Trinity had um, uh, the joint with uh, with Dwelling on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Real Love, Tainted. That's the name of the song. Yeah, and. Um, and when Tainted came out, the single came out first, like singles do. Then the album came out. The album, I thought, initially, was okay, you know, because they didn't have Jay Dillon. I was already upset that Jay Dillon really, and he was alive at the time when, when, mm -hmm. when, uh, when uh, Trinity came out. Um, but it's like, I'll go back to listen to Trinity right now. Trinity is a very good album, and production-wise, it's very good, even though it wasn't Dilla, but it still kind of Dilla-esque type of vibe if you listen to Trinity. It's a very good listen. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought D Detroit Deli. Uh, the next uh, album, uh, album after that, after Trinity, was pretty solid. Uh, the self-titled Slum Village uh, album was just El Zai and T3, pretty much. Mm -hmm. thought that was a very good album. Very good album. But to me, they're just short of that classic status, man. Mm -hmm. That's why I give it that three and a half stars. We you stand with it? I'm looking at like a three. I'm just... Yeah. Half yeah. and half with it, kind of, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It might grow, so... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, what, do you what do you think it like that could have been stronger, right? You know, it, it was kind of all over the place. Yeah, to me. Yeah, like that that, said, that, know, that the, the second right. the second half of the album, like you said, was good. Yeah, but at first it was like yeah, they all yeah they could have left a couple yeah. tracks up out of there. They had like to me some fillers on there. Yeah, yeah that's you what know, it sounds so like, like. You know, yeah. producers. <laughs> you, <laughs> know, you know, they were there giving us all the lyrics. I know, right? Oh, you guys, you guys are weird. But I, I do feel what you guys are saying. I, yeah. I, I uh, you know, I, I am agreeing with you guys. But guys, anything else to say about Slum Village? Village um, Manifesto. Uh, Village Manifesto. Like I said, three and a half stars. I thought it was a very solid album. Mm, very solid. Um, you know, but again, you know, not quite what I expected them. I think they got a better album in them, and I think mm. their next album was they're official with who's going to be in their group. Mm. I think they're their going to ascend be to a whole yeah. other level, mm. man. Because they've had. I'm some excited for things. the future. For them, yeah, without question, with without questions. Um, also, oh, real quick too, um, "Cream of the Planet" by Most Def. Most Pro Def. Uh, produced by Ski Beats. Mm -hmm. My goodness, man! <laughs> and I think the new album, uh, "24 Hour Karate School." Was, <laughs> oh, was I love that time, title. Time, time, time out. Time out. 24 bro. Hour Karate School. 24 Hour Karate School. It's the name <laughs> of Most Def's <laughs> new album. Wow. Only most, takes him to call some because he only feel most like that. Def. Only Only goes goes up, man. I love is, it. Man. He is brilliant. <laughs> and, and, and the production on this song, though. Check it out, John. I'm going to post it on Facebook. Mm -hmm. um, th but it's by Ski Beats. Mm -hmm. And I don't know a lot about his work. I probably do and don't realize I know more know a lot about Ski Beats as far as the beats are concerned. But the fact that he uses these Spanish horns mm -hmm. <laughs> on his joint, man, it's off the hook to me, man. And the way that most deaf rhymes on the song, mm -hmm. if you're not listening to what he's saying, it sounds like he's rapping with no hook. Mm -hmm. But there is a hook in the song. But he's just keeping the keeping the cane just flowing with it. He let the beat he letting the beat do what it do. And mm -hmm. he's just flowing and riding that joint, man. And and it's taking and, and he letting the horns take you different places. The beat is right, dude. Not so much his lyrics. But when you listen to what he's saying, it's like, wait a minute, he don't. You know, he's saying he, he's still most deaf at the mm -hmm. end of the day, man. So yeah. he's most definitely most deaf, man. So big ups to that song, man. I'm excited about the planet, it. Produced by Ski Beats. Love it.
24 hour karate school coming up coming to coming you too. via the cypher <laughs> yo yo again thanks for checking us out again clb tv thanks to y'all love y'all good night and don't forget to pray for me y'all peace